Lately, I've been saying it's not about the crypto. And I want to show you how I use the exact stuff that I use in stocks and other markets to trade crypto. And this week, I want to focus on the importance of money management. As I've been saying, it's not about the crypto. It's about trading. And if you learn how to trade, you could trade any market. Let's say the crypto market goes away tomorrow. Well, maybe something new will come, come along or something old will come along like stocks or commodities or whatever. And you'll be ready to trade them whenever that market, whatever it is, heats up. So last week I talked about this particular stock, just a generic pullback. It didn't quite pull back all the way to the 30 EMA, which would be a Landry-like pullback. But the fact that this thing thrusted so high, almost a 100% run before pulling back, I thought it was worth a shot, even though it didn't pull back all the way to the 30 EMA. And it was a fairly deep pullback. Now, I did have an aggressive entry. I got in at that yellow line. My stop was down here below the 30. And my initial profit target was at this level here. Now, you can see here's the actual trade down there. And you can see where I took profits at the initial profit target. You exit half at that level. And then you bring the stop up to break even. So this was the one we talked about last week. So I wanted to follow up on this. The idea is to establish a free roll. If you go back and look at some of the older presentations, or I think it was last week, I showed an older spreadsheet where we had huge open profits in one stock up 600%. And I, it had me kind of dreaming about those days again. Well, they'll come again. It just might take a while, and it might take a lot of patience, and it might take a lot of sitting on your hands. But the way you establish those positions is, number one, of course, garbage in, garbage out, or, or as Papa John would say it, better ingredients, better pizza. Make sure you have a really good setup going into the trade, and then make sure you wait for an entry and use proper money management, all those things. And if you do that properly, you will occasionally get what I call a free roll. Now, free roll means you've exited half. Your stop comes up to break even, as you can see here. So the worst, barring overnight gaps, and it's crypto, so it doesn't gap overnight, but it can be a little thin. The worst you could do is break even on the second loaf of your trade or the second half of your trade. And you make a little bit of money on the first half. Now, if you could do this over and over again, and of course there's going to be some outright losses here and there, but if you just keep chip chipping away at it, lose, 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 free roll, free roll, free roll, stop out, stop out, free roll, stop out. In other words, the, what I call the better than the poking and I trade, then eventually you're going to catch some really big trends. But as you can see, in this case, money management is crucial. So if you do stop out, think about what you've accomplished here. You took some money off of the table, whether it be crypto or stock or whatever, and you had the you had the potential for a huge winner. And if it doesn't materialize, it doesn't materialize. You've got a little bit more money in your account, and you can move on to the next trade. Now, notice if you would not have used any money management whatsoever, you had this profitable trade overall turn into a losing trade, and the losses are continuing to mount. Now, here's another trade that I took, and you could see that my entry was at 0 0.03874. My initial profit target was 0 0.0465, and then I stopped out of the remainder of the trade. If you look over here, you can see my stop was at break even. So I entered here. I took initial profit targets here. My stop was here. I had a little bit of skittage, which is okay. And overall, I made a little bit of money on the trade. So if we take a look at that in the chart, you can see that in this particular case, by the way, I just bought a pair that was going straight up. And I'll talk about that a little bit in one second. But you can see, again, I was able to get in, take partial profits, and then stop out for what I call the better than the poke in the eye trade. Now, once again, we're going to say next. Now, you might notice that this thing skyrocketed nearly 100%. Why did I not capture more of that? And I should have. And what we do is once we are free rolling, so to speak, we then take this stop and we begin to trail it higher as the market moves in our favor. By the way, boy, if I found a brokerage with automated trailing stops in crypto, that would be, that would be the monster. I think I could really master the market because what you could do is put an automated stop in and let it follow this market up but you can see it did shoot way 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 higher and then it imploded 
Now, if you would have taken the trade without any money management or taken any profits, you'd be at a pretty serious loss on the trade. Now, getting back to why I gave up so much of those gains, this was last Saturday, and I had a lot of honeydews, and I was in here trading crypto, and I knew at some point in time I was going to get in trouble. <laughs> so, not to make any excuses, but what happens was I put in my limit order and I went on about my life and the next time I checked it it had already come back in quite a bit and it looks like it looked like I was going to scratch out on a trade for a better than the poke in the eye trade which I eventually did obviously but when I checked it later in the afternoon I was bummed out because it nearly doubled in price before it imploded and then stopped me out of the remainder and that's one of the tough things with crypto is when they move they move really fast it's one of the great things but it can also be sort of tough when you miss such a huge move. Now, inspired by several of these 100% overnight moves that I've watched evaporate, or in this case, in the afternoon. And by the way, maybe I could set some, some alerts or something. So even if I'm out doing honeydews or whatever I'm doing, at least I'll get an alert to let me know that this market is going absolutely crazy. But one of the things I've been noodling with, and I started doing and putting the actual orders in, is remember we exit 50% at the initial profit target. But what I think I'm gonna begin doing with these cryptos, especially these thin cryptos that are just wild and crazy, like this Lava X, whatever the hell that is, I'm gonna flip out 10% at 100% gain. So I got to thinking about it and I still have 40% of the position on should this thing go up 300, 400 or 1000% or more. And if it doesn't, especially on an overnight 100% spike overnight, then at least I was able to get a piece of that spike off. And that's pretty significant to double your money, even though you're only taking 10% off. That's still a substantial amount of money to be putting in your pocket. Now, while I was putting together my slides, I actually triggered into this one. Now, this is a breakout. And sometimes when crypto is going straight up, you could just buy the breakouts into brand new high territory. I'm not a huge breakout trader or fan of breakout trading because more often than not, breakouts tend to fail. But when a market is really, really hot, kind of like 1999 in stocks or right now in crypto, of course, right now it comes and goes. I told my clients in the last week of charts, it's like 1999 and then the next day it's 2000 and it's 1999 again. So there's a lot of these crazy cycles that are happening. But sometimes you could buy the ones that are going straight up. I bought this one earlier today and I got long right around this level here. I put in an order to flip out 50%. And right before I recorded this, it actually hit that IPT. I also put in an order to flip out 10% at a double. Now it's wishful thinking. I realize that. But if I get there, at least I'm pulling some money off the table. Now, here's the actual limit orders I put in. One for 50% of the position and then another one for 10% of the position should that hit. Unfortunately, there was actually a fortunately, unfortunately, fortunately, it did hit my initial profit target while I was doing this presentation. And unfortunately, it came back in and stopped me out for better than the poke in the eye. Well, that's one more good trade under my belt. I didn't knock it out the park, but I have a little bit more money in my account and I can go after some new trades now. So it's not about the crypto. I know there's a lot of people that are poo-pooing crypto. And, and you know what? I think it's mostly BS too. It's like some of these things are, are NFTs of pictures of cats. It's, and, and they change with the moon phase. It's like, well, it's stupid, okay? But if these things are going up and you're using the heavy dose of money management, then go in and take some money and make some money off of that stupidity. And if you want to poo-poo them, then by all means, go out and short them. But I would recommend you short the ones that are going down and make darn sure you use serious money management because these things can go up 100% or more overnight. Markets are markets. Markets are driven by human emotions, period. And markets are markets. So human nature is human nature. Fear and greed is human nature. But just make sure you have a methodology in place. As I've been saying, pullbacks can work great. Take a look at Landry Light pullbacks. And if it's on a really great run, it doesn't have to pull all the way back to the moving average. Uh, breakouts can work too, but only when they are running. So you got to use caution with the breakouts. As I just preached, money and position management is crucial. 
you want to position yourself for limited losses and the potential for unlimited gains.